Hi dear children today our teaching topic is statistics part 1 prerequisite knowledge data class interval ci class mark xi frequency fi deviation di true class limits For, let us see first data data is the information recorded or collected by the government oblic any organization oblic individual used for the purpose of analysis it is the raw information from which statistics are created class interval ci class interval 1 of the ranges into which the data in a frequency distribution table or histogram are binned the ends of the class interval are called class limits class mark xi the mid value or average value of an interval is called a class mark frequency fi frequency or absolute frequency of an event is the number of times the event occurred in class interval deviation di is equals to xi minus a deviation is a measure of difference between the observed value of a variable and some other assumed value of an that variables mean true class limits in the grouped data the upper limit of each class should be same as the lower limit of the succeeding class such a data is said to be continuous or true class limits length or height of the class interval length or height of the class interval is the difference between any two successive upper bounds or successive lower bounds observe on the screen the two lower bounds 2 4 here two upper bounds 10 and 12 now in the second data first pair lower bound second pair is upper bounds central tendency values mean median mode our teaching topic today is mean ungrouped data grouped data ungrouped data mean is equals to sum of the values by number of the values in grouped data by direct method assumed mean method and step deviation method mean ungrouped data the mean is the most commonly used average to calculate the mean of the set of values we add it together the values and divide by the total number of values mean is equals to sum of the values by number of the values example the mean of 3 6 7 8 and 9 is 3 plus 6 plus 7 9 plus 9 by 5 that is equals to 34 by 5 that is equals to 6.8 Two dice were thrown ten times, and their score were added together and recorded. Find the mean for this data: seven, comma five, comma two, comma seven, comma six, comma twelve, comma ten, comma four, comma eight, comma nine. Mean is equals to you know sum of the values by number of the values. Mean is equals to seven plus five plus two plus seven plus six plus twelve plus ten plus. Four plus eight plus nine by ten. Seventy by ten. That is equals to seven. Seven is the mean. Word problems of arithmetic mean. The height of a five runners are one sixty centimeters, one thirty seven centimeters, one forty nine centimeters, one fifty three centimeters, and one sixty one centimeters respectively. Find the mean height per runner. Mean height is equals to sum of the heights of runner by number of the runners. 60 plus 137 plus 149 plus 153 plus 161 by 5. That is equals to 760 by 5. That is equals to 152 centimeters. Hence, the mean height is 
152 centimeters. Another example, find the mean of the first five prime numbers. The first prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Now mean is equals to sum of the first prime numbers by number of primes. And 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 by 5. That is equals 28 by 5 is equals to 5.6. Hence, the mean of the data is 5.6. Find the mean of the first 6 multiples of 4. The 6 multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and 24. Mean is equal to sum of the 6 multiples of 4 by number of multiples. 6, 4 plus 8 plus 12, plus 16, plus 20, plus 24 by 6. That is equal to 84 by 6 is equal to 14. Hence the mean is 14. Find the arithmetic mean of the first 7 natural numbers. The first 7 natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And let x denotes their arithmetic mean. The mean is equal to sum of 7 natural numbers by Number of natural numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 by 7 that is equals 28 by 7 is equals to 4. Hence, their mean is 4. Now, question if the mean of 9, 8, 10, x, 12 is 15, find the value of x according to the problem, mean is equals to 15 given, mean of that given numbers is equals to 9 plus 8 plus 10 plus x plus 12 by 5 therefore 39 plus x by 5 is equals 15 implies 39 plus x is equals to 15 into 5 39 plus x is equals to 75 x is equals to 75 minus 39 is equals to x equals to 36 <laughs>
add two more columns to the given table right vertically. Step 2. Find the class mark by taking the midpoint of the upper and lower class limits in third column. Step 3. Multiply each fi and xi in every row and write all product values in fourth column. Now step 4. Calculate the mean as mean is equals to sigma fi into xi by sigma fi. We use direct method because the numerical values of fi and xi are small. Number of plants, number of houses, fi 0 to 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12 and 12 to 14. 1, 2, 1, 5, 6, 2, 3. And these are added columns. Class mark xi. The average of lower limit and upper limit. 0 plus 2 by 2 is equals to 1. And 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Now fi into xi. The product of fi xi. 1 1 is a 1. 2 3 is a 6. Y 1 5 is a 5. 5 7 is a 35. 6 9 is a 54. 2 11 is a 22. 3 13 is a 39. Now add all the frequencies. Sigma fi is equals to 20. Here the product of fi and xi. Sigma fi xi is equals to 162. Hence Arithmetic mean is equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi. Hence, 162 by 20 is equals to 8.1. Arithmetic mean, assumed mean or deviation method. In a retail market, fruit vendors were selling mangoes kept in a packing boxes. These boxes contain varying number of mangoes. The following was the distribution of mangoes per the number of boxes. Number of mangoes, number of boxes. 50 to 52, 53 to 55, 56 to 58, 59 to 61, 62 to 63. Now, boxes 15, 110, 135, 115, 25. Now, find the mean number of mangoes kept in a packing box. Which method of finding the mean, did you choose? To find the mean of the data, I choose deviation method since the data values are big. Arithmetic mean, assumed mean deviation method. To find arithmetic mean by deviation method, we have to follow these steps. Add three more columns to the given table, write vertically. Step one, classify the data into intervals and find the corresponding Frequency of each class. Step 2. Find the class mark by taking the midpoint of the upper and lower class limits. Step 3. Take one of the xi's as the assumed mean and denote it by capital A. Step 4. Find the deviation of A from each of xi is di is equals to xi minus A. Step 5. Find the mean of the deviations. AM is equal to A plus sigma FI DI by sigma FI. These are the class intervals 50 to 52. Since this given data is not continuous. So, we add 0 0.5 to the upper limit and subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit. Class size H is equals to 3. Now number of mangoes, number of boxes. 49.5 to 52.5, 15. 52.5 to 55.5 is 110. And 55.5 .5 is equal to 58.5 is 135. 58.5 to 61.5 is 115. 61.5 to 64.5 is 25. Class mark XI 51. 54, 57, 60, 
63. Now 57 is the middle value, middle value, and it is assumed as A. Here, assumed mean A is equals to 57. Now DI minus 6, minus 3, 0, 3, 6. And again FI DI. Minus 90, minus 330, 0, 345, 150. And now, adding all the frequencies, sigma fi is equals to 400. Adding all fi di, sigma fi di is equals to 75. Now, m is equals to a plus fi di by sigma fi is equals to 57 plus 75 by 400 is equals to 57 plus 0 0.1875 that is equals to 57.19 now one more method arithmetic mean by step deviation method step one classify the data into intervals and find the corresponding frequency of each class step two find the class mark by taking the midpoint of, of the upper and lower class limits. Step 3. Take one of the xi's usually as assumed mean and denote it by capital A. Step 4. Find the deviation from each of the xi's. di is equal to xi minus a. Step 5. Divide all deviations di by the class width h to get ui is equals to ui minus a by h. Step 6. Find the products of fi mu i's. Step 7. Calculate the mean as am is equals to a plus sigma fi mu i by sigma fi into h. The following table gives the literacy rate in percentage of 35 cities. Find the mean literacy rate. Literacy rate in percentages 45 to 55, 55 to 65, 65 to 75, 75 to 85, 85 to 98. Number of cities 3, 10, 11, 8, 3. Now here, assumed mean is 70 and height of the class interval is 10. Class interval frequency. 45 to 55 is 3, 55, 65, 10, 65, 75, 11, 75, 85, 8, 85, 95, 3, and xi, di is equal to xi minus a, mu i, and fi mu i, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 70, assume, it has assumed mean. A. Now, di is equals to minus 20, minus 10, 0, 10, 20. Now, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Then the product minus 6, minus 10, 0, 8, 6. The sigma fi is equals to 35. Sigma fi mu i is equals to minus 2. Now, m is equals to a plus sigma fi mu i by sigma fi into h. m is equals to, that is mean is equal to 70 plus minus 2 by 35 into 10 is equals to 70 minus 0 0.571 is equals to 69.42. Now, let us recap all the methods at glance. Direct method, deviation method, step deviation method. Direct method, four columns. Deviation method 5 columns, step deviation method 6 columns. Sigma fi is common in all methods. In first direct method, we find sigma fi xi in deviation method sigma fi di in step deviation method sigma fi mu i. Now for the practice, two more problems are given. My dear children, observe on the screen.
थैंक यू माई डियर चिल्ड्रन